and welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV, Sunny Hot Australia, PHEV Watchdog Edition. So in this series of videos I would like to talk about the PHEV Watchdog app and would like to show you all the tips and tricks as far as I know them. And just very quickly and briefly, the PHEV Watchdog app is a mobile device app which runs on Android systems only. It connects to your car via a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi OBD port adapter and only reads and monitors and displays information which are already on the car's system. The PHEV Watchdog does not modify any information inside the car. It does not hack any data or even alter some parameters in the car. It is a read-only device. And this video number one is about how to get started with the PHEV Watchdog. Okay, so you have decided to go ahead with the PHEV Watchdog, connect to your car and read your figures yourself. Well, I think it's a big mistake. The PHEV Watchdog app will drive you crazy. It will bring you sleepless nights. It will open more questions than you had before and eventually you will need the same therapy than I do. So if I have convinced you to not go ahead with the PHEV Watchdog, thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button below and we will see us in the next video. But if you still want to go ahead with the PHEV Watchdog, turn yourself into a madhouse, want to collect an awful lot of figures and numbers, which don't make sense to anyone, then please join me in this video number one, where I will show you how to install the OBD adapter in your car, how to connect the PHEV watchdog to your phone and connect your phone to the OBD adapter. Okay, let's get started with this madness. And you're now asking what kind of OBD2 adapter should I get for the Outlander PHEV to connect to the PHEV watchdog app? Let's have a look on the PHEV watchdog app website. The website is phevwatchdog.net. Once you are on the website, scroll all the way down and you will find a list with tested and confirmed OBD adapters. They also have a little description here so you can see what the pros and cons of these adapters are. I personally started with the Conway KW902 Bluetooth adapter. It was very cheap. It was only 15 Australian dollars on eBay, including shipping and it lasted me for six months. Then it broke down. I had several issues with it, disconnection, errors. I couldn't listen to podcasts anymore at the same time as I used the dog. And I decided to buy a new Bluetooth adapter and I went with the V-Gate iCar Pro Bluetooth 4.0. This cost me 35 Australian dollars, including shipping. And so far, this one has been very fantastic. I never had any dropouts, any issues. It is plugged in all the time in the car. It has been a great device. And as you can see, some of the cheaper models, they don't have an auto wake up function. So you need to unplug and replug. And I didn't like this function at all. So I wanted to have one with auto wake up. So as soon as you turn on the car, the OBD adapter gets live and you can start the PHEV watchdog with it. So my decision was to go with the V-Gate iCar Pro Bluetooth 4.0. It has sleep mode, it uses very low energy, it has auto wake up and the form factor is very, very small. So go to the website and have a look through all these tested and confirmed Bluetooth OBD adapters and some of the more expensive ones like the OBD Link LX they are also upgradable in terms of their firmware. So I'm not sure what that includes and if you have any benefit from it um, when using the watchdog. But this is certainly a possibility if you want to spend around $100. And here you can see the old Conway Bluetooth adapter and the new iCar Pro Bluetooth adapter. And you can see the footprint, the old one and the new one. This one barely sticks out of the plug. And the old Conway adapter also had a little switch here so you can power it on and off. But as I said, I have plugged this one in all the time for the last seven or eight months and never had any trouble with this device. To get the PHEV Watchdog app, open the Play Store and search for PHEV Watchdog. Once you found it, click on Install. 
Once installed, um, allow PHEV Watchdog to access photo and media and files and other devices. Yes, allow, of course. And here we go, you are in the PHEV Watchdog. Everything is empty, nothing is set up. This is the stock version PHEV Watchdog app. So, and finally, grab our phone, the Bluetooth adapter and the manual for it and go to the car. So, on the driver's side, below the steering wheel, you will find the OBD port. And in my car, it is right down here. You can see this little notch here in the plastic. Hang on, oh, you can see it now, yeah. There's a little notch in this plastic. This is where the OBD port is located. So if your steering wheel is on the other side of the car, you will have to have a look below the steering wheel. It is either on the left or right hand side of the steering column. I couldn't quite find a photo on the internet. Um, I found only photos showing me both locations, so left and right of the steering column. So I'm not sure where the port is located in your car if your steering wheel is on the other side. The port usually has no cover and is right away accessible. So all you need to do is line up your OBD adapter to the port and plug it in. So the next step is to link your mobile phone to the OBD adapter. This is a pretty straightforward procedure. It's just connecting to another Bluetooth device. But uh, first of all, you need to power on the car. And you need, of course, the key to do so. Okay, let's try this again with key. And look at this, it fires up. First thing you don't want to do is turn on the air condition, of course. Set this one to 24, eco mode. Because if you live in a hotter climate, you definitely need the air condition on while you do this setup. So the next thing you want to do is go into your Bluetooth settings of your mobile phone and scan for new devices. My iCar Pro Bluetooth adapter has been found as rarely used devices. And this contains an Android V-Link and an iOS V-Link because the adapter, of course, is able to connect to iOS, Apple iOS and Android. And of course, we will use the Android V-Link pairing. And now you have to have a look in the manual of the device. What kind of code you need to put in to pair your device. I should have prepared myself better. Uh, pair, enter password, one, two, three, four. Okay, as it says here, one, two, three, four. Pairing, and it should be connected. Yes, it is. And as you can see in my mobile phone here, I've got the hands-free system at the top, which is the actual Carl's MMCS and I also am connected to the Android V-Link OBD adapter. So this is the whole setup for the Bluetooth on your mobile device. And the next step will be to actually launch the PHEV Watchdog app on your mobile phone. And you click on these three dots at the top right hand corner and go to settings to select the right Bluetooth adapter. So the first option you have to tick Bluetooth, turn on Bluetooth, absolutely. And then Bluetooth devices, list of paired Bluetooth adapters or devices. Click on this one and you can see all the four same Bluetooth devices as there were before in my phone. And of course we select the Android V-Link, which is the OBD adapter. And once we hit this tick box there, we can just go back and click on these three dots again and start live data for the first time ever on this mobile device. And you can see the OBD adapter starts flashing happily and we make our first and now we can make our first reading of the state of health and state of charge of the battery. My battery is at 92.4% of health and 46.4% state of charge. So let's do another test. Turning off the car. Stopping the watchdog here. Okay, so 
The next time you get into the car, everything is already set up. You just need to turn on your car. Your OBD adapter gets live. You start your PHEV watchdog. You click on start live data. It starts communicating with the OBD and starts recording your session and shows you all the numbers and figures you ever wanted. So guys, congratulations. You have successfully connected your mobile phone to the PHEV Watchdog app, to the OBT Bluetooth adapter in your car, which talks to the battery management system inside the car via the CAN bus. Yeah, I think that's pretty correct. And please stay tuned for the next video when I show you how to transfer your information from your old mobile phone to a brand new mobile phone, which I just happen to have here. Once your Bluetooth adapter is installed and you have hooked up your mobile phone to it, you will start receiving a lot of information, data and figures on this app. And of course you are trying to make sense out of them. I wish you all the best with that. Now, seriously guys, um, it is a lot of information in the PHEV Watchdog app available and I will go through it step by step with you, explain all the different screens, all the settings in the app and I'll try to help you guys to understand all these numbers and figures so you don't turn mad as I did and need the same therapy. So, and once we are connected to the PHEV Watchdog and the Bluetooth adapter, we can actually leave the car and let's find out the range. And let's find out what the range of the V-Gate iCar Pro 4.0 is. I set the PHEV Watchdog into charge mode so I can monitor the charging, which I'm currently doing. I explain this in a later video or in all details. For now, we are just watching the time here and see once it's disconnected. So I'm about, um, I would say, three meters away from the OBD adapter, which is inside the car. So this whole metal chassis acts like a Faraday cage now, of course, and limits the possibilities of the connection range of the Bluetooth adapter. But so far, we are still connected. Okay, I would say I'm about five meters away now from the actual Bluetooth adapter and we are still connected. Go a little bit further. About seven, eight meters away now from the car and the Bluetooth adapter and it's still working fine. I would say I'm about 10 meters away from the car now. And the app is still working fine. Probably 12 meters away now from the car. App is still working fine. Yeah, I think we are getting to a limit now. I would say this is about f close to 15 meters away from the OBD, maybe 12. And the app is still working. So 15 meters, still working. So you can also buy these adapters with Wi-Fi connection instead of Bluetooth. Wi-Fi gives you a little bit more range, of course, but as you will use your PHEV watchdog, most likely when you drive the car, the range is not, the range of the connection is not of a problem. But if you want, for example, monitor the charging situation in your car via the app and your garage where your car parks is a couple of meters away from your house, a Wi-Fi connection will give you definitely better connection range as the Bluetooth version. Just be aware the mobile phone can only connect to one Wi-Fi signal at a time, while it can have multiple Bluetooth connections at the same time. And the 10 plus meter range of the Bluetooth signal gives me enough freedom to have my mobile phone here in the garage while the car is parking outside in the carport over there. Okay guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplug TV Australia, PHEV Watchdog Edition. Signing off, you stay charged and we will see us in the next video. See you then.
Bye bye. Who let the dogs out? Oh.